Okay, good morning. It's time for your favorite prank calls. It's time for Nacho's Revenge with the morning mess. Let's say good morning to Roger. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My guy, Roger. Okay, so we hear you're up early with us trying to get revenge on your girl, Clara. You found out that she was stalking you and, and, and your friends at a bachelor party? It sounds bad, but hear me out. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't stalking me during my buddy's bachelor party. We at, like we caught her hiding in the in the bathrooms, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you gave her any reason not to trust you, though? <sighs> Well, I've never given her a reason to, uh, in my opinion, but before she dated me, she was actually engaged, and her fiancé cheated on her uh, during his bachelor party. Oh, oh. wow. I, at his bachelor party, he cheated. Okay, well. Yeah, and the chick ended up pregnant. So, oh, my God. Uh, wait, who ended up pregnant? The chick he cheated with or your lady? The chick he cheated with. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. He cheated wrong. Okay. Joey, what? there is no right cheating. That, that's true. That's true. Uh, okay. So the insecurities are valid. Yeah, yeah. For okay. Sure. Okay, so obviously she embarrassed you and your friends. You didn't cheat on her. Did she know that that you saw her? Did you confront her? Yeah, we pulled her inspector gadget ass up. Out of <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sent her home. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. I love this. Um, I feel bad for you, but I feel bad for her because obviously I know why she was there. She got cheated on before by her ex fiance. But how do you want to get her back this morning with my prank call? Okay, so I wanna call I want you to call her up and say that you're a promoter who uh, who set up the party and um we busted her pretty on, early on in the night, so I want you to make it sound like things got wild and see if she believes you or uh, trusts me. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Really okay. bring out her insecurities. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's her name again? Her name is Clara. Clara. Uh, should we mess with Clara this morning? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Okay, I got you, man. I'm going to play the promoter, and we'll do Nacho's Revenge up next, right here with your Morning Mess. Okay, Morning Mess, decide your favorite prank calls. is Nacho's Revenge. We caught up with Roger. He's looking for some revenge with his girlfriend. Roger, you had a bachelor party with your friends, and you kind of looked uh, with your peripherals, and you saw that your girlfriend was kind of stalking you to make sure you, you didn't do anything dirty or, or cheat on her. That's right. She was all up in my peripherals. <laughs> <laughs> now, in her defense, she was cheated on before. Literally at, with her previous fiancé. She does have some major baggage. Yeah, with the right. previous. Okay. You confront her, you sent her home. You're like, it's going to be fine. You sent her home. So uh, the prank call this morning, you want me to be a promoter. And I'm going to describe a very wild night that you and your friends had to get a really jealous this morning. Yeah, we're going to throw our little test. All right. Uh, you guys ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. Hello? Clara, this is Nasha with two O's. Nasha Chavez. I'm the club promoter who planned Charlie's bachelor party. Oh, uh, hello. How, how can I help you? Well, I'm calling to collect the payment, actually. Payment? For me? Well, I can't get a hold of any of the boys, so now I'm calling their partners. And that's you, oh right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay. sorry. I, I'm really sorry. I didn't know you weren't paid. Yeah, and, and some advice from me and TLC, you don't want no scrub, girl, okay? <laughs> I don't I don't want no scrub. Yeah, a scrub is a guy who shouldn't get no love from you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What, what, what are you saying? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry. It's a classic scripture. Look it up. Anyway, so listen. <laughs> Before we get to the payment details, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll have them call you, okay? I'm sure it's just like a misunderstanding. Right, 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 right. right. So listen, uh, there is something else I want to talk about, okay? This goes against my code of conduct. But <laughs> things got really wild at this party. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, but like, isn't that your job? Like, to make sure it's fun, crazy party? <laughs> okay, I mean, yes. <laughs> But is it, like, your job to make sure your man is faithful? Are you telling me he cheated? Oh, he definitely cheated. <laughs> what the f***? On his diet. <laughs> yes, I know. Very disappointing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That boy can eat. On his diet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's not on a damn diet. Oh, my God. That, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, that is great news. 
What do you mean? <laughs> I was scared that you had him on a diet or something. Um, okay, well, look, I'm just gonna, like, let him call you. I'm gonna go now. No, 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 wait, listen, there's more to tell you, okay? <sighs> okay, what is it? He was talking to way too many women during the party. <sighs> okay, well, talking to a woman is not a crime, okay? Well, well, so... well, 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 listen, he's asking for their number a crime? He got someone's number? He got this gorgeous woman's number. Are you serious? Her number one pick for the big game. <laughs> yes, oh. I saw it and heard it for myself. Okay, I don't need your help, and but, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, I'm just going to have Roger call to pay you, okay? Wait, Goodbye. wait, 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 wait. I didn't tell you about the strippers, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. There were strippers. So what? It's a bachelor party. No, Clara. They were stripping. Oh, so Roger was stripping? Well, listen, he was stripping the meat from those hot wings clean off the bone. It was <laughs> remarkable. I don't know how he did it with just those teeth. Mother of <laughs> Okay, I'm not <laughs> Claire. Claire. Claire, we got to let you know something. Uh, you're actually live on the radio. We're called The Morning Mess, and yeah, your yeah. boyfriend... Put us up to this prank call this morning. What? I can't oh believe I forgot God. to put it Who's stripping. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, you there? I'm getting some payback. <laughs> payback for what? Oh, my God, babe. Because you followed me at the bachelor party? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> I'm Larry Mullins, host of the podcast, Your Weirdest Fears, the show that explores the odd things that make your heart stop. I am so scared of the Grinch. He is bad vibes. <laughs> we talk to everyone from therapists to exterminators to lizard man. I was 25 when I actually got my tongue split. I have one tattoo that covers my entire body. Listen and subscribe on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts from. What's up, everybody? Guess who's coming to your screens every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? No Mercy! With yours truly, Stephen A. Smith. It's now available on YouTube. For the first time in my career, I've got complete freedom to say my piece on everything beyond the world of sports, unfiltered, and now in video. Join me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at the very least, for my take on the biggest headlines and conversations with the biggest names in entertainment. Subscribe now so you don't miss an episode. No Mercy! With Stephen A. Smith. A presentation of Cadence 13. An Odyssey Studio. Full episodes available now on YouTube. I'm Larry Mullins, host of the podcast, Your Weirdest Fears, the show that explores the odd things that make your heart stop. I am so scared of the Grinch. He is bad vibe. <laughs> we talk to everyone from therapists to exterminators to lizard man. <laughs> I was 25 when I actually got my tongue split. I have one tattoo that covers my entire body. Listen and subscribe on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts from. I'm Larry Mullins, host of the podcast, Your Weirdest Fears, the show that explores the odd things that make your heart stop. I am so scared of the Grinch. He is bad vibe. <laughs> we talk to everyone from therapists to exterminators to lizard man. <laughs> I was 25 when I actually got my tongue split. I have one tattoo that covers my entire body. Listen and subscribe on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts from. Okay, it's the morning mess. It's time to catch some cheaters. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the staycation set up. Listen, we have Penelope on the line. She thinks her boyfriend, Will, might be cheating on her. Um, Penelope, you just found out you have chlamydia. That's right. Now, for people who are listening, chlamydia is curable. It's not mm-hmm. something that you have forever, right? It goes away in like seven days. But the problem is how you got it. Right. I'm so confused. So I think that you might be cheating. So obviously, I've been with Will. and We've been exclusive for about six months. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just kind of baffled by how I could have gotten it. Well, you know how you got it. He, he gave it to you if you've been exclusive. Yeah. Right. I'm assuming you found out because you went and you got tested, and I'm glad that you did that. But, you know, one of the things that's recommended is for you to reach out to the people that you've been with before. And since you're saying that's Will, I'm hoping you talk to him about this. Oh, no, we we did talk about it. Okay. He said, oh, yeah, you must have had it this whole time. 
because apparently he got checked after our first time getting into it and he didn't have anything. Mm, okay, well, to play devil's advocate, you've been with him six months ago. So maybe seven months ago, were you with anybody? Do you have like an ex-boyfriend or someone that you were romantically involved with? No, and I would know if I had chlamydia for six months now. He keeps telling me that I probably gave it to him. So I don't know. I know, he's cheating. I mean, let's, let's, get, let's get to the point. Let's yeah. get to it. I mean, all we're going to do, Penelope, you're familiar with this part of the show. We're going to call Will up. We're going to pretend we're from a hotel. We're going to tell him he's won a free romantic staycation. Anish, you're going to ask Will that important question. Who the heck gave you chlamydia? <laughs> no, we're going to ask him, who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? If he doesn't say your name, Penelope, then you know he's been with someone else, and we'll give you the show at that point. All right. Yeah, I just need to know. Um, if he does admit to it, he apologizes profusely, mm -hmm. begs for forgiveness. Are you going to take him back, honestly? I haven't even thought about that yet. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm going to react. Like I just need to hear what's going on first. You know. Okay. Well, couples that go to the clinic together. Oh, what? <laughs> Stay together? No, <laughs> if it goes well. <laughs> if it goes well, true. All right, Penelope, we're going to find out all together. Uh, hold on to your chonies, ladies and gentlemen. We got that staycation set up. Sub next, morning mess. Okay, the morning mess here inside the staycation set up part of the show where we catch up cheaters. We had caught up with Penelope. She thinks her boyfriend definitely gave her chlamydia. And obviously, when you think that, he's been cheating. So, Penelope, you've been with this guy for six months. You haven't been with nobody else. You went to get checked out just to get checked out, and they told you you have chlamydia. So you're positive he gave it to you. Yeah, I mean, I've been very exclusive with him. There's no chance I got it from anyone else. Right, mm -hmm. and when you told him about it, he seemed really casual, and he was like, oh, you must have had it the whole time we've been dating. I I, I don't have it. Yeah, that's, which doesn't make any sense. Let's call Will up, tell him he's going to free romantic stay staycation, and see who he wants to put on that reservation. Here we go, y'all. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Will? Uh, yeah, this is Will. Who's this? My name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel. I'm actually calling with some really awesome news, so I'm glad I got you on the line. We here at the Aurora Hotel have this giveaway going on for a romantic weekend stay, putting up a winner in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. It's so actually calling you, Will, some great news, because you are the grand prize winner. Congratulations. Uh, I didn't enter a competition. That is true. Now, we actually did a little partnership with Google and Yelp, Will. So it looks like you've done some reviews on those pages in the past. We ended up picking you at random, and so we were hoping you could come get this top-of-the-line romantic stay and review your experience online. Oh, sure. Do I have to do, like, the 360 view thing where you, like, film everything and then post it? Oh, we would love that. Yeah, we can actually go over some of the requirements we have. But just so you know, I do have a disclaimer here. There's no deposits, no fees, no taxes. This is a complimentary weekend stay. Do you consent to that? Consent to free, yes. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that, Will. So you and a guest of honor are going to enjoy a romantic weekend here at the Aurora Hotel. We actually start this weekend off with a personalized note. This is addressed to your guest of honor. I just wanted to know if you have, like, a specific thing you'd like that note to say. Let me know whenever you're ready. Uh, can you write, I hope you know my love is limitless. Okay, so, Will, I do have that down for you. I have another question. Who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's Grace. Who the f is Grace? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Will. Oh, who's on? Listen, we got to let you know you're actually live on the radio. We're the morning mess. We're a radio show with uh, your girlfriend, Penelope. Oh. That's who that is. Grace? Oh, my God. Relax. I'm not cheating. How can you say that? It's a bacterial infection, and you gave that to me, and now you're telling no. me to relax? Chill out. You're making up some, like, fake thing, or if you have it, then you got it from a public restroom or something. Okay, okay? you're Wait. still <laughs> Yeah, are you dumb? Because that's not how science works. Clearly, you just have so much respect for women. It's unbelievable. I do. You are. I respect oh, women, you? and I don't know oh, why you need to just keep running your mouth about all of this. Whoa. <laughs> Running my mouth? Yeah, this fake feminist bullshit. Like, uh, you're like, oh, how many women are you dating? I'm keeping tabs. I'm just dating you, okay? You're trying to make yourself look good and try to throw me under the bus. And okay. I'm sure you're just mad that, you know, you're... You clear. literally were live on the radio inviting another woman named Grace for a romantic staycation, so... 
That doesn't mean anything. You know, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. It's the Twilight Zone. That that. It oh does. my God. So who is that girl? Who's Grace? Oh my God. Who cares? All right, okay. uh, Pen Penelope. I gotta <laughs> step in. He's been wildly disrespectful towards you. Are you okay if we hang up on him? Oh, hey, wildly disrespectful. So uh, okay, me. shut the hell up. Here we go. Hold Put on. me on a radio. Uh, Miss Penelope, are you good now? Did you take the pills and you're you're good? I'm fine. It, it, it's okay. not even the point is the cheating and the lying. No, the cheating. The cheating is bad. So now you're over him. So I'm just saying, you took the pills. You're in the clear. You're feeling healthy. The best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody. And now that you're clean, boom. Yeah. Do you guys have anyone you can introduce me to that isn't an? A Maybe we start off with counselors. There we go. Yes. Whoa. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. We're gonna go ahead and hook you up, Penelope. Okay. Okay. The listening.